Hi. I wanted to show you some tips for moving around the calendar in layout mode, specifically in terms of manipulating these tabs. So let's drop into layout mode, and you can see that we've got two areas for the calendar, this kind of tab area on the left, and then the calendar proper on the right. And they both have tabs in them, so let's check it out. The tabs are manipulated according to these orange instructions. So it's saying to grab this and drag it out of the way. I've just held down the shift key so it doesn't move left to right, it just moves straight up. And now you can see that I've revealed kind of these native tabs uh, below that. So if I wanted to um, change these around or change the name of them, I can kind of double click here and work in the tab selector. But I also want to make changes to these objects too, right? If I rename this from filters, I want to change this label. And this uh, group of objects, I'm just going to temporarily lock, arrange, lock. This so here so that I can drag from it. This group of objects um, exists on every tab. So I have a different one, uh, excuse me, a different one of these on settings and a different one of these on sources. So uh, it can be a little work if you want to add a tab here. You're just going to have to change it on each of the five tabs here. But pretty straightforward. So if you want to work with one of the tabs in layout mode, again, drag this guy out of the way, click on the tab you're interested in, and then you can kind of get to work with this stuff in layout mode. Working with the tabs on the other side, oh, and when I put this back, I just want to nudge it until that line goes away and then move it one pixel up so that the line is, uh, is back. Let's switch over to the layout that doesn't have that uh, side menu and talk about these tabs over here. Same kind of thing drag the grouped objects below up and out of the way. So I grab this, I hold down the shift key so that, whoop, hold down the shift key so that um, the object doesn't move left to right, and I just drag it out of the way, and now I've revealed the native tabs below. I can double click on one and bring up the tab controller if I want to change the default tab to be something other than the day view. Um, and some of the tabs within here have tabs. So if I look, go to the day view, you can see that I have two tabs here. This is our regular day view that has the times. You can see the time displayed on the left-hand side. And then this is the simple view. So if I want to work on those fields, or on fields from those tabs, that's how I do it here. Um, let's just take a look at one other aspect of uh, these tabs, and that's kind of the conditional formatting that's here. Let's say I wanted to change the conditional formatting of the month view that I'm on now. I'm just going to kind of grab these fields and start dragging them down until I see most of the fields um, revealed. Actually, I don't, I don't want to move that one. I'll move these other fields. Kind of leave that one up there. Now that these are down here, I can uh, grab them and conditionally format them or examine the conditional formatting is already there. That field doesn't have any. I think this field does. Some simple stuff. That's the dates of the month. Just hiding contents. I think this is the one that's got all our good stuff on it. Yeah, so this is the color of days outside the current month. This is the color of a date when it's highlighted. So we just kind of reveal that field, make our conditional formatting changes, and then here's how we put the fields back. This is kind of the trick. We just kind of drag select them all, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key while I click in the portal and select it also. So all these fields are aligned top with the portal. And uh, that works really well. So that's why I didn't move that last field down. You can see as we drag all these guys out of the way, all the fields are aligned top with the portal except for this last one. So I just kind of want to leave it there. All the other ones I can drag select, grab the portal, and align top, and they're all taken care of. And it looks real good. Um, switch back to the month view. So you can work with the uh, tab control up here and out of the way if you want, but the calendar feels a little funky like that. It's fine when you're developing, but for when, you're, when your users come back, you're going to want to grab this guy, drag it back down, and re-enter browse mode, and then everything will be as you expect it. So uh, I hope that's cool, and uh, we'll have some more tips and tricks coming up soon. Thanks.